Hi, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport, and you are? I am Ripper Owens, All right. here to rock and roll you <laughs> in a parking lot somewhere. Yeah, wait one more time. This is great. Yeah. Now my first question is, do, you, do I feel stocky to you now at this point, or comfortable? You started to feel a little stocky. I started to think, uh, uh, wasn't quite sure. And now that you brought your son, it actually made it a little bit better. And I, I'm like, okay, this is all okay. right. I trust the guy now. Yeah, okay. Now, you, you do, do you remember we did interview you four years ago from Metal Rules Radio? I do remember, yeah. Yeah, you were working on the charred walls of the walls dam. Charred walls Calling from the studio. Yep. Yeah. All right, uh, what's the best and the worst part about owning a restaurant? Uh, well, the best part really is, uh, you know, to... to Especially local. I own it locally in Akron, Ohio. It's where I grew up. It's all my friends. So it's kind of nice to, to meet down there and have all the friends come in. A lot of, I, I was able to get, now I'm moving locations now. It was Ripper Owens Tap House. Now it's Ripper's Rock House. I have a new partner who came to this trip with me to check things out. It's really great. But bringing in like friends of mine, I was able to get Sebastian Bach to stop by and just hang out. And Jeff Tate played. And, uh, you know, Wendy Dio came into town, so just, you know, having them hang out with us and stuff, it's great. Yeah, I actually, I, I, I sent you an email a while ago, but you probably blew off because you probably thought it was back in the stalky period. I'd actually considered coming out one time, because I have a friend out in Ohio. Okay. Visiting him and ha doing, like, a Metal Rule show in your bar. Well, you'll have to do it this time as well, because the place is, is way better. It's, I mean, we're in construction now. Right. Uh, we're putting in the best sound system. We have Jeff Hare, who runs sound for Man and has for years and ran for Dio. He's known as having the best sound systems, and he's actually putting in the best sound system. The decor is totally great, so you coming in and doing a show there this time, just make sure I'm performing. If you do it, work it out where either someone cool is playing that week weekend or I'm there, you know, bring him along and yeah. let him hang out. Well, I think the coolest thing I did with this is it came uh, one night when you were there, and it was a cool band, and you could be co-host. Absolutely. That's well, what I'm, I'm always good at that. Yeah. I'm going to be good at that. I like doing that. Yeah. Now, have you, have you ever used the ladies' room by accident when the men's room wasn't available? Oh, absolutely. I do it all the time. I still do it. Yeah. And what were some... Well, first of all, I'm always hoping that the ladies' room is going to be cleaner. So I like to go there. But I do own a restaurant, and I can tell you that the ladies' room isn't cleaner. No. So, That's um, a myth. But listen, if there's if I have to go and, there's, and something's not available, men's are closed, I'm going wherever I have to. I've used parking lots a lot more than that. Yeah. And as have you, I know. Yes. I've never done that. I actually just used the Mexican restaurant when I came here. Right. I figured he couldn't get in there. Uh, what's, your, what's the best use you've ever... Uh, God, Dave, I'm trying to read his handwriting. <laughs> There's my question, but I'm what he wrote. <laughs> oh, okay. What's, what's the best thing you've ever done with your men parts? Best thing I ever did with it. Uh, I mean... It's hard to say when your son's sick. He's used to it. He's 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 seasoned. Well, I mean, it's a given. Well, I, I gotta be honest. Just taking a leak is pretty good. I mean, that's pretty refreshing. You know, when you gotta go really bad, that's a pretty refreshing feeling. But the best thing I'd probably say I ever did would be. Uh, uh, I can't even say. I'm just. I'm like you know. Pretend he's not there. I feel, well, I just feel. I don't know. <laughs> Answer these questions at 45. I'm always like, oh, geez. And you wrote the question down, my yeah. friend. I'm 46, so. I know. Okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah. So. Okay, masturbate. Yeah, yeah. That's probably good. Right. Yeah, I enjoy it still. Uh, what? <laughs> Five work, times a day. I work from home, so there's plenty oh, of time. I don't need here anymore. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. In fact, when I was writing you that text, no. What, what has nobody asked you that you would like to be asked? Um, what has nobody asked me? Uh, man. What has nobody asked? That question right there, what you just asked me? Yeah. What has nobody asked me? That's a good question. That sounds like a never-ending cycle. I keep asking you, could you keep asking, coming back with it? Yeah, yeah. I'll take that one. It's like one of those pictures that get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like a picture and a picture and a picture and a picture. <laughs> At what show did you deliver the most ridiculous scream of your career? You know, I, I remember one I did. I mean, I've, there's been a lot of screams, and it continues to be screams. But I remember one good one that was at Birmingham, England. 
and uh, Judas Priest show, and I remember Rob's uh, sister was there, Rob Halford's sister was there, and some, and some of his family, and, and Al Atkins, the original singer of Judas Priest, and I remember the, the note at the end of Victim of Changes I held for eternally that night. For some reason, <laughs> it was the weirdest thing, and it was, I remember getting that thing, and this was a good night to do that. Now is it is it documented somewhere where we could see that? Or is, it, is that recorded? Uh, I don't know if it is or not, and it might not even been as long as I thought. And, you know, but if you would go back and watch it, but it, it listen, it's got to be out there. You know, it wasn't as much YouTube stuff going on back. Right. At, at that, it's right before it really started. Somebody might have it though. Oh, it's right. out there. Yeah. Have you ever been locked in a room and couldn't get out? Yeah, I just was. It just was. Uh, Either South America or you know, one of those one of those trips. I was in the, the Delta Lounge club thing in the airport. I think it was South America. I went to the restroom, probably Chile, and I was coming home and I went to the restroom and it was the doorknob was broken uh, and it was broke off. And when it shut, I was stuck in this little room too. It was that. And the lady came back and said. Oh, sir, that's broke. I was just putting the sign on. She was outside. I'm thinking, I was very like, and then she stuck a, a little knife under the table, under the door. She's like, just get in there and wiggle. And I'm like, I, and it took me a little bit. I was just stuck in. I mean, of all places, I'm like, I didn't even have a beer in my hand or anything. No, that's, that's, that's not good. Now, uh, have you ever felt like you were going to die? In a situation where you're like, this is it. I'm done. Oh, yeah. Um, Obviously, a couple of flights probably when you're yeah. when you hit some really bad turbulence. You're thinking this isn't gonna, this isn't doesn't look good. A, a car ride in Colombia, another South America story. When, when I was trying to get to the airport, and instead of going around on the highway, the cab driver, but the guy went through the hills, the mountains, and was going like was skidding around the corners of these mountains where oh, just went down like he was a race car driver. And the car stalled, and he he. Popped the clutch and came backwards down the hill, popping the clutch and flying down the hill backwards. So I, I thought for sure I was going to die. All right, I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Okay. okay. What's wrong? <laughs> 